Hey guys, so I'm on my way to get some groceries. Well, some more groceries here in Georgia. I usually go to the DeKalb Farmer's Market first. Um, and whatever they don't have, I go to the other one. I think it's Buford. So that's why I'm headed now because they didn't have any dandelion. And they did not have any... Um, it was something else. I wrote it down. Uh, a couple of other things. The reason why I like the farmer's market in DeKalb is because they have more organic stuff and the other one really doesn't and I didn't have a good experience of buying fruits and stuff from there. So I typically just get what I can there and anything else. Oh, and ba baby bananas because they don't have an burrow bananas. Look at me almost forgetting. So that's why I'm heading now. So I'm going to see if I can bring you guys in to that mart to see some of the stuff. Um, that they have but I know I can't bring you guys inside of the regular farmers market but I'm gonna try one day I really am uh, but anyway I'll see you guys when I get inside of the other mart in a second all right guys it's just it's the what is it called Buford market farmers market Buford highway farmers market it's okay I don't know if I really First like it like that turn on all right I'm gonna show you guys Buford when I get highway it northeast they still have a face mask as required, which I'm really glad. Yeah.
and we're going home. So I went to the Cab Farmers Market and I went to Buford Highway Farmers Market and um starting the route guidance to your destination. Now I'm going home on the current route. I think I'm good as far as what I have. Um this should last me for about 2 weeks. Uh if I cook every day. I'll probably eat out maybe once. Maybe once. I don't even want to say 7 days. I want to say like 6. Yeah, maybe 5 at least 5 days out the week. Cuz if I go out on the weekend um, I'm probably not going to eat home unless I'm eating like breakfast or something. So breakfast, I'm cool with breakfast. Um, and most likely lunch, I'll eat out. If I do eat breakfast in, I mean out, you ever you know, it's gonna be a vegan spot and um, probably not alkaline, but I could piece some stuff together and make it alkaline. But for now, I say five, 10 days. So for the 14, I'm saying two days out the weekend of each week I'm gonna eat um, out. I'm only saying that now because I usually go out on the weekend. But if not, this should still last me anyway. Um, this should still last me anyway. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get out of here. Um, and typically, like I was saying, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I would rather go to the one, um, the, the cab farmer's market because they have a bigger range of stuff. And I came to this one before and I got peaches. And I don't know, the peaches were like looking a little strange on the inside. So I just, I, I literally threw them all out. I cut each of them open. It was some weird discoloration. Um, this is why I do like organic. Now, you can fight me on this, but I've, I've tried it out where I purchased um, tomatoes, organic, and and I and I'm as an alkaline vegan. Technically, you should not eat Rome, Roma tomato. You should only eat uh, the cherry and the plum tomatoes. But I bought them because they had organic ones, and I was like, oh, let me get this, and they weren't bad. So then I ended up purchasing non-organic one freeway entrance and the inside of it was completely like different it threw me off and um so i just never just purchased them again so i try my best so just now i bought some dandelion from um buford highway uh, farmer's market and i don't it looked a little different from the one i guess it has the whole entire bulb at the bottom but i'm gonna see when i clean them off when i get home how um if i like them or whatever it's kind of big too that's another thing about stuff that's non-organic it's so big it's like super size and it just it throws me off so i am gonna unpack all my stuff when i get home and let you guys see it. i'm sitting under the bridge so if the color just went away that's because i'm sitting under this bridge it's really packed outside today so <sighs> So it's probably going to take me maybe an hour and a half to two hours to kind of clean everything and um, package it up for the week. But um, that's typically how long it does take me. And that's because I'm washing it and then I cut up some ginger, make some fresh ginger juice. I don't cut up my lime. Um, since I buy key limes, I just chop it when I'm ready and just use one half one day and then use the other half the next day. Um, other than that, that should take me, like I said, about an hour and a half to two hours. Then I'll probably make some dinner. So I kind of like cheated. And you guys probably like, that's not really cheating. But I try to stay away from regular bread, um, yeast. But sometimes I crave like... I think it's called a um, uh, like a French bread, right? Um, and the farmer's market in cab, they have a section where this light is so long. What's going on here? Um, sometimes they'll have they'll have a, they have sections where 
they don't use milk or eggs and stuff but it does have yeast in the bread so um I, I don't do it all the time but today I'm feeling like I want to make a version of a Philly cheesesteak and that's going to be what I'm gonna make tonight maybe I'll show you guys it's just a mushroom green pepper red pepper I don't think I bought green pepper because they didn't have organic so it's probably just gonna be red yellow and orange and then some vegan cheese and I'm gonna cheese it's gonna taste so good but I am going to probably show you guys me making it I'm such a foodie sometimes. I'm always eating. But you know what? As a vegan, you can eat more. Whoa, well, as, a, as an alkaline. Because regular, a lot of regular vegans eat a lot of processed foods all the time. I only recently started incorporating certain things because I just felt like I'm just, I've been really good for a, a couple of years straight and um, without cheating at all. And when I say cheat, it's still a vegan option, but it's not alkaline. So, um, yeah. So that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. So, yeah, so I'm on my way home now. And I'll let you guys see it once I get in. I will show you guys this Atlanta traffic because this is bananas. Like, it's so insane all the time. And um, <laughs> I'm always on edge on the highway. <sighs> but other than that, the weekend went really, really well. Um, I did film some stuff this morning for you guys. I have a Zara haul coming in for you guys this spring. Zara has some stuff that I'm really not feeling this year. And it kind of looks like very psychedelic looking. I don't know. I just don't like it. It's not my cup of tea. So the stuff that I did get, I was able to um, find something that, that, that I would actually wear. Um, yeah. So, and then are they going to let me in? Because these people are so... I let everyone in. Do you guys let people in when they need to get over? I do. In about a quarter of a mile, keep Because I just left. feel like on two, on, if I can, five, you know, four, let them over, right? Then keep to the left. That's just me. It's just me. <laughs> but these folks here, no, they don't want to do it at all. So, but yeah, so probably for dinner, I'll make that tonight. What do you guys think? A fake Philly cheesesteak? <laughs> That's what I call it. It's so good, too, guys. Try it out. And the mushrooms that I use, I don't use, um, portobello or oyster mushrooms i like oyster mushrooms fried only um they're very chewy to me so i think it has a really good consistency for like chicken but what i'm gonna use tonight is because i feel like it has more of a meat texture hen of the wood to the left. i think they call mai tai or mai tai or something like that but the the, the name that we would know is hen of the wood hen of wood hen of the wood um mushrooms and it's like a big clover and i think it's very meaty in my opinion I think it's very meaty. Um, when I do make my Philly cheesesteak, it does come out really good. So I'm gonna cut some onions up and try to make this good old Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's just chat, guys. Let's talk about relationships and marriage and love and stuff. Do you guys think that love is a choice? So I personally think that love is a choice. Um, it is an action. You choose to do something, right? Um, so when people say they fell out of love, my motto is you just stop wanting to do it, right? <laughs> I don't know, that's me. Maybe I'm just too black and white, but I'm really not. So I've heard many women say that they fell out of love with their husbands and stuff, but I just feel like you just chose to not love them anymore. I mean, that's just what it is, right? You chose to say, I'm just not gonna put any more energy into this person and um, and kind of go from there, right? And just, that's it. So people are like, oh, you fell out of love. I don't think you fell out of love. You just chose to stop doing it. And you know, I mean, I get it, I guess, because, you know, you gotta get, maybe you just get tired. But if marriage is supposed to be forever, until the day we die, right? 
Um, you shouldn't. You shouldn't want to do that. But I guess it's better than. Well, it is better than cheating, right? So cheating is a no go for me. I feel like once that trust is lost, you can't get it back. Um, everybody is different. They do feel different ways. But I do personally feel that the moment you let someone back after you have cheated and after oh they have cheated or whatever I kind of feel like the respect is gone on their part meaning they may look at you a little different and this guy's swerving in front of me and I can't and I feel like they lose respect for you I feel like they think that they can do it again and you're gonna forgive them and I usually don't talk about things on television and stuff on this channel but since we're chatting you guys get to know how my thought process is you know love and hip-hop everybody knows that that man cheated on Rashida right cheated on her had a baby and you know it's so it's so old but they're on couples therapy I don't watch it but I know that they're on it but um I feel like he broke her to the point where she doesn't know which way to go you know here it is this man you have this baby on this woman you had sex with someone else and um, you potentially put her in danger with a STD or something worse that's not curable STD you know and you know she stayed or whatever no, like that's not love to me. That that's not love. That's not him caring for her. I just none of that. I don't like none of it. Like you know, people mess up. But I feel like where's your where's your um what's the word, guys? Willpower to not do something or not to not want to do something you know and I learned very very early on that trust is major and I was very young when you know I found that out well when I knew that I couldn't deal with certain things so I don't go into a relationship saying I'm not gonna trust you I'll trust you. Wait, this is an accident, but I don't see another car at all. I don't see another one. Um, I trust you until you give me reason not to. But then you have people who say you have to gain their trust. I just feel like that's just so much. It's so, so just, just go in, open mind, open heart, and see. Because it doesn't take long for you to realize that somebody's not trustworthy, you know? That's how I see it. Just get them, get them a chance. Get them a little, little chance and see where, you know, how they are. So, with that being said, if you are dating right now, looking to get married, and um, you're not too sure about this person that you're dealing with, take it as a sign. I'm trying to tell you. And if you know for sure they're not it, just walk away. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Don't let people make you think that there's none. Um, and now it may not be enough of your kind if you are a person who doesn't date outside your race, just number-wise. But I think you could, you know, expand your options. Expand your options and see what it, what it is out there. I am a firm believer of finding love wherever, okay? I think there's bad people in each race, um, and there's good people in each race. So you can't say all black women will never date outside, or all white men don't like black women, or all Asian men only like white women, whatever, right? Um, but I will say, like, expand your options. You will definitely be surprised at who you end up with. For me, I'll give you guys a little bit of background. Um, I've never really dated 
black men. Okay? Not on purpose, but I lived in New York City in the Bronx and I was around Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and every other Spanish speaking country you can probably think of. So that is who I gravitated towards and that's who gravitated towards me. Um, when I did start dating black men, I noticed some differences. Now, not all black men, but the ones that I met, I just kind of felt like it was no unity with their families and I didn't like it uh, because I was used to seeing that with the Hispanic um, men that I dated. It was just different. And, you know, even to this day, I can literally say they all were similar in a lot of ways. And mm, that could be my, my bad choosing, but they all had a lot of similarities, you know. Um, they never cheated, but certain things that I just didn't like, that I didn't go for. Now, my, my, my father is from the West Indies, so... Um, I was born here though, so certain things are just in me, like cleanliness and just being a particular way and making sure I always have. I know a lot of my friends who are West Indian that came from Jamaica or from Trinidad or wherever, they would say like, you know, their grandmothers say, don't come to America to hang out with Americans, they're so lazy, which I think is true to a certain extent. <laughs> um... But you just have to surround yourself with the people that you know that are not. Um, it's just the saying that they say Americans are lazy. I don't know why. But, because I guess in their country they work a little bit harder. Excuse me. I'm a little tired, guys. I was up late last night. But, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Americans are lazy? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird to me because I am American because I was born here and I'm far from lazy. So when I do meet men and they're trying to like get on their feet or whatever, maybe I'm a little hard, but if they are moving a little bit too slow for me, I don't like it. But that also could be because I'm from New York City and to us, we're just on the grind all the time. Like we're always on the grind. So it doesn't make sense to me when somebody's moving extremely slow. Like I don't get it. Because what makes you think that we're gonna be here a lot, you know, much longer? You don't know. So I feel like personally, um, just enjoy your life. If you want to get something out of life, go get it. Don't take your time. Get it so you can start. Start your life. Start whatever it is that you're trying to do so that's what I wanted to say about relationships I know I just rambled on a whole lot so I don't know if you guys are going to even care for this vlog but <laughs> so I am going to show you guys when I get home what I do uh, what, what I did buy from both Mark's markets um, like I said, most of the stuff I did buy from the DeKalb Farmer's Market. I don't know if you guys live in Atlanta, go check it out. When I first moved here, I used to shop at Publix, which is the absolute worst. And like, I think Walmart for like little stuff. I stopped buying, like, I, didn't, I never really bought like fruits and stuff from Walmart. I never liked it. But back then, I would buy like, if I ate like regular pasta, I would buy pasta. So anything closed, nothing open. But now... I am strictly farmer's market and I love it. It is actually a really good price that they have. Like their prices are extremely good to me. Some things are a little bit overpriced, but it doesn't really bother me because a lot of the other stuff is cheaper. So it kind of balances itself out. But if you live in Atlanta, let me know. We can probably go shopping together and I can convince you to go vegan, <laughs> right? So, but I'll show you guys what I what I have when I get home, and um, and like I said, this is typically what I buy, literally every week. The only thing that they didn't have was one of my snacks that I always get, which I'm not supposed to get, is um these plantain chips. They're so freaking good, but they didn't have any, so it's probably a sign because I've been chomping down on the ones from a couple of weeks ago, and they're pretty much gone. So. 
But um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll just show you guys what I have. And maybe I'll show you guys how I clean my stuff and package it up. I can do that. Um, and just let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys like videos like that. Cause I cook, I cook a lot. I cook almost, I literally cook almost every day. Um, but I don't tape it. But if you guys wanna see it, I can. I just gotta get a really good setup for you guys. Um, so you guys can see it, see, well, see everything that I'm, that I make. But let me know what you guys think. And I will let you guys see everything once I get home. And I will see you guys in a second. Bye. All right, guys. So I'm in the house now and I have a slew of bags here. Um, it's not going to look like a lot of stuff to you guys, but it is for me. Here I have some Hen of the Woods. I don't know if you guys can see that because I am on my phone. Um, and I get like three of these. I get three heads of kale. Where's the other two? That's one. And the other two are somewhere floating around here. Where is it? Where is it? It's somewhere over here. I'll get it out. I have some watercress. Here's my little cheap bread that I told you guys about. That's my cheap. I have strawberries. I always get two things of strawberry organic. Um, I like this brand. The other one I'm not I'm not too fond of. Um, I guess that's the farm. Then I get some more mushrooms. I usually get like two to three organic portobello. Um, someone's in the yard. Then I got because I already had two. Cherry tomatoes, so I got this. I got one, so I already have two. I don't like to run out of stuff because I don't know what I'm gonna make throughout the week, so sometimes I end up making like spaghetti or something and I have to make my own sauce. And I got some spelt bread. Spelt bread. And you freeze that bread from the farmer's market. Um, you have to freeze it. Okay, here's my other kale. Here's my second kale. And my third kale. Kale. And this is romaine lettuce. I got two of them. And I have, that's that. I did buy some more oregano because I ran out and some more um, organic kelp. This is really good. I just sprinkle that on everything. It's one of my cheats that I choose. <laughs> oh my God, these chips, these blue chips. I'm not supposed to have them, but I like them. I usually make some um, avocado, not avocado, sorry. Um, guacamole. Then I get I got some cashews, some raw cashews, some raw Brazil nuts. My cashews I use to make like my Caesar dressing, I guess you could say. It's like my version of a Caesar dressing. Okay. Then I got two organic walnuts. Um, I, I get this for my milk that I make. Okay. And then another cheap <laughs> some pistachios. And these are organic also. Actually, these aren't organic. Yeah. Um, I 
just nibble on these sometimes. I don't usually eat like a lot at one time, but I usually like, I just like to have them. And then I have some organic red onions, um, onions, raisins, um, raisins. Here's the thing about raisins, guys. I never used to eat raisins. And changing my diet, I kind of knew that I was gonna have to start incorporating some things that I never did. Um, so everything that I'm showing you guys now is from the DeKalb Farmer's Market. I got some oyster mushrooms, just a little bit, just so I can fry them up this week. And I got some, some um, pears. I forgot, these are organic too. What's the name of these? I always forget. Golden Bach. And I got, what else did I get from there? I got a papaya. Oh my God. So papaya is so stank. Ugh. So I'm not, but it's so good for you. I'm actually going to freeze it up and just start juicing it this week. Um, I got, I got like a, not even a half of watermelon. This is like a fourth. Now, here's the thing. Someone purchased um, a cantaloupe some time ago and they checked up. Well, it's a cantaloupe that comes already prepackaged for you. And um, why do I keep hearing noise outside? Um, and basically what they said was the pH on it changed. I don't know. I got some avocado. I usually get my avocado uh, super hard, not ripe at all. And that's because I um I, I wait a couple of days before I eat them. I got some yellow and orange pepper so I can make my what you gonna call it tonight? My um fake chili. I got two red. Red ones. I'm gonna clean this off, stuff off so I can package it. And I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. I got some more ginger. This is organic. They had a whole stack that was organic today, which was odd, but they did. And then I got some onions that are organic also. Um and then I got some aloe. I do not eat this. <laughs> I use this for my hair. So, I use it as a pre poo on my natural hair. Um, and, what's this? and then, so that's from, oh, and this from the DeKalb Farmers Market. Sorry. And some quinoa from there. And now from the DeKalb, not the cab, Buford, I got two cantaloupes. They didn't have any. I got baby bananas. And I get them really green because once I set them out, um, they ripen really pretty fast. And here's a key thing for bananas, guys. You can put aluminum foil you at the tip of it, and it kind of preserves it from really turning really quick. And I got, last, the burrow bananas. And I believe you guys saw that. So I, I don't know, they're so yellow. I'm hoping, yellow is greenish. I'm hoping they don't turn. I'm not gonna stick them in my little glass thing because they were turning pretty quick. And I also got some dandelion from them. I'm gonna really clean this because it was looking a little janky. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it up. It's so much bigger. Well, I guess because they don't cut the bottom off. And the DeKalb Farmers Market, they do a better job at cutting it and um, I guess uh, pre-washing it or whatever. So that's all I have. And I will let you guys See, once I pack everything up, I probably won't let you guys see me clean it because it's going to take me forever. 
and I will show you guys once I pack it and put it into the refrigerator. All right, guys, so I'll get back in a few. It'll be a few for you, but an hour and a half or two for me. Um, and let me know what you guys think about my food shopping. This is what I normally get, guys, as a vegan. Um, I know you guys are like, where's the meat? No, the mushrooms are my meat, and I just make it work for me. So I will catch you guys in a second once I'm done packing and cleaning everything up for the week. All right, guys. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back. I'm completely finished with everything for this week. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting is like really bad because I'm just in my kitchen. And um, I'm going to show you guys what I did. And let me just turn the camera around so you guys can see it. So throughout the week, I eat fruit. Um, this is just some leftover mushroom, some ginger, that I'm gonna juice up tomorrow because I'm extremely tired. I have a little bit of sea moss left back there. I have some hemp seeds, papaya, cantaloupe, strawberry, um, some more cantaloupe. <laughs> so it's like all the way back there, if you guys can see. And some pineapple, which I'm sh I should not eat often, but I eat like a one or two, like a couple of chunks. Um, then I have some green peppers, I'm sorry, yellow red peppers in these i have some pears i did put my watercress in here i usually put a napkin in here um just to get some of the moisture off of it i uh, have some kale in here some butter lettuce in here i have watermelon in here and in here i have my dandelion i don't know if you guys can see but i poke holes in it sometimes um some things like this same thing with my um, sea moss. I poke holes in it. And let's see, I have my cheap follow your heart cheese, some cher cherry tomatoes, onions, and these, I forget what these, Sorrento peppers, these are so good. I have some onions in here, put a piece of napkin in there. I have some apples, a little bit of um, um, key lime. Down here, I have some, uh, what do you call this? Romaine lettuce, oyster mushrooms, the hen of woods, and some portobello. And that's pretty much it. And that's the stuff for the week that I'm going to eat. Um, it doesn't look like much, but I'm telling you, I eat all week. I just got a bunch of crap on the door and stuff like that. So, But that's it. Take a quick look at the refrigerator. And I usually put the spelt bread in the freezer down here because it has to be frozen. Um, and that's pretty much it. Actually, let me, I forgot to show you guys. I did purchase mangoes and some burrow bananas and some more mango and my baby bananas, my avocado. Listen, I get them this color because I want to wait a couple of days. Usually Mondays, I'm not really, I don't really want bananas and stuff. I'm going to make some tea. That's why it's like this. So I have, what is this? Sour sap leaves in here. I'm going to make some tea. And if you guys can see, I am making some granola. I don't know how it's going to come out. It smells like it's cooking. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. So... I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you like little vlogs and stuff like this. I don't know. I just think they're fun to see what people do throughout the day. You guys let me know if you like it or if you don't like it, I will stop. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.